Hello everybody, Proton here. Starting a new video segment on the Weekend Dojo entitled Proton and Phil's Robotic Reviews. Let me introduce you to Phil. Hi, I'm Phil. I am Proton's mascot for his Transformers Reviews. Thank you, Phil. What Transformer are we going to be reviewing today? Today we'll be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Crosshairs figure. Thank you, Phil. Let's get started. Transformers! Okay, so this is the Transformers the Last Night Deluxe Crosshairs figure. Let's take a look at the box first. It says Transformers the Last Night Crosshairs Deluxe Class figure. This is the side of the box. Rogue Sharpshooter, that's what Crosshairs is. On the back, it says you could also get Bumblebee and Straff. It is by Hasbro and GM Official. Made in Vietnam. And it is an official Transformers Authentic. And this is the instruction booklet. This is for turning it into vehicle mode. Give you a good look at it. And then here is vehicle the robot mode. Now, let's take a look at this figure and transform it. But first, I'm going to show you all the details. What do you think so far, Phil? Looks like he has anger management issues. Hey, that's not nice. He may shoot you. Come on, Phil. That's not nice. Anyways, I love this figure personally. Though, I do have complaints about the arms. Because in the movie, his arms are gray or silver, not green. I think this is too much green. I know another YouTuber, Emgo, freaking geek has said that there's too much green in his, and he is not wrong. I think there is too much green in this, and the goggles right here on his forehead, they should be red and blue, but they are not painted. The head doesn't move that well, it only what, nudges. But I will turn it into vehicle mode for you. So that way you can see what he looks like in vehicle mode. Get his legs turned in like this. Fold the back out like that. Push in. Put the wheels in like this. There. It's a, it's a little hard at first to get in, and sometimes you get used to it when you're transforming him. It takes a little bit of force. And this sometimes it'll happen in the back where there will be a crack. It just takes a little effort to push that in. 
Got it. And then these guns right here, they have little ticks at the end that you push them into the arm holes right here. Wait, on this side actually. This one gets a little hard. But there, there is his Corvette mode. Phil, what do you think of him in Corvette mode? Too much 2017. Now, now, Phil, I know you hate the Michael Bay movies with a dying passion, but it doesn't it give you an excuse to hate on the toy? Silence, fool. I am the real reviewer here. You're just talking for me, so I can hate all I want. Okay, whatever you say, Phil. Anyways, people, to get back on topic, overall, I th think this is a really good Transformers figure. I have not collected Transformers in quite a few years getting back into it as my first Transformers figure for reviewing and for my collection to come I'd say this I'm off to a really good start this is a really good figure and I do not regret having this in my collection at all thank you all for watching my review remember to follow me on Proton Reviews and Fan Edits on my other YouTube channel subscribe like comment below all that good stuff follow us on at weekend underscore dojo on Twitter and on Facebook, it's Weekend Dojo. Remember to follow El Chilzer Reviews on in, on uh, Twitter also, and subscribe to El Chilzer Reviews on YouTube. Thank you all, and have a more phenomenal day. And remember to come back, you Weekend Warriors.